All right, so this is just a quick look at the Must HD 5.6 inch monitor. I'll have a full review coming up on that. You can also check in the crotch bar below for my first impressions on the monitor. Check this guy out. Basically, I've got two Canon LPE6 batteries plugged in here. Looks like you got SDI out on here, though I don't have anything to verify that. There's some multiple ways to power this, including the batteries, as well as this uh, 12 volt barrel plug and this tally input if you want to use that. It's got HDMI locking. I removed the HDMI locking out simply because I'm not using it right now, but that's two screws and then this thing presses in to lock onto your cable. I'm using this on the Canon C100 right now. And let's look at the flip out screen protector. This is pretty nice. It's fairly similar to the Sony protectors. It closes up and completely covers the monitor. You take this, pop it out, and then you pop this bottom out right there. And now you have a nice little screen shield so you can keep the light off there. If you look in there, I don't know if you can tell from this video or not, but there is kind of a felt foam in here to keep reflection down. And the monitor itself looks pretty darn nice. This is the C100's feed off of its HDMI port right now. If you want to make this monitor skinnier, you close this guy up like so. There's a little thing that says press. Just put a little bit of force on this down here and it pops off and now you have complete access to the screen without any cover on it. The controls are pretty in depth here and the menu system looks pretty nice. I haven't messed around with everything in the menu system quite yet, but it looks to be fancier than menus you get from many other units on the market, especially in this price range. They're offering a lot of stuff. Focus features really quick here. Let's hit the focus mode and you can see that it adds kind of a tense coloring to that. And as you get things out of focus, then that yellowish line kind of disappears. So putting that stuff back in focus, we'll hit the focus peaking one more time. And then if you hit this button here, it's also a push button. Clicking on here, you can select contrast, brightness, chroma, uh, sharpness, as well as your volume settings for your headphone output right there. There's also a remote control that goes along with this F key input that comes with the monitor and you can plug that in and control these buttons right here. Uh, one thing I did screw up on when I first got this is uh, I hit this F1. That turns it to black and white. So keep that in mind. If the light is on, then it's set to black and white. If it's off, it's not set to black and white. And if you hold these down, you can actually change the functionality that goes with each one of those buttons. So if there's something you want to use like screen freeze or pixel to pixel or something like that, uh, these buttons can be set up to do all of those things. Anyway, that's a first look at the Must HD 5.6 inch uh, 1280 by 800 field monitor. I'll have some more on this as soon as I've had a chance to spend a little more time with it. Also, I'll have the links in the crotch bar below. You can check that out for my full first impressions along with images and this thing on a 5D Mark III. Anyway, that's all I've got for now. I'll talk to you later.